Hey Mike. What? what? Who's got next? What's good, y'all? It's your man Hezo. And welcome back to the Blacktop, where I always got next. You feel me? Shit just got real. So we got more breaking news, man. And yes, shit just got real. This is why I love the NBA offseason, man. It, it is crazy every single year. The NBA has the best offseason of any National League sport. And I don't care what nobody says. It's just as, as exciting as the regular season. So before I dive into it, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm on my way to my first 400, so if y'all can help me get there, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let's get right into it. So if you live under a rock and you have not heard, Kevin Durant just requested a trade officially from the Brooklyn Nets. Now this was kind of a, a thing that's been talked about for the last couple days ever since Kyrie opted into his, his player contract. This is a really a, a bomb because what the Nets are going to potentially get back is going to be one of the biggest deals probably in NBA history. You don't really see too often a player like Kevin Durant, his caliber, getting traded at the, at the prime of his career. He's got four years left on his deal. And I think he actually has a no trade clause uh, on his contract. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. So he has really all the leverage. So KD has really requested two teams as his main priorities, the Miami Heat and the Phoenix Suns. And I want to start off with the Miami Heat. So what does a trade package look like to get KD, right? There's not really too many teams that are going to be able to really put together a formidable package now, there's a lot of teams that do have some young talent and draft picks and all that, but it really depends on what the direction the, the Nets want to go in. And from the trade that they just did, trading a first-round pick for Royce O'Neal, which was a head-scratcher to me, that tells me that they're not looking to tank. They're not looking to be bad. They're still looking to compete for a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. So there's not really teams, in my opinion, that can make a run at Kevin Durant. But I guess we'll see. So with that being said, the, the Miami Heat, right? When you're looking at a trade package, obviously you start out with Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero, probably Duncan Robinson for contract purposes. From what I've seen Zach Lowe say, apparently Bam Adebayo cannot be included in the deal because of, apparently there's a rule in the NBA that you can't have another player on a team under a rookie extension that was traded for. I've never heard that. I don't know if that's a real thing, but that's what that's what Zach Lowe said. So. I guess Bam Adebayo can't be included in that deal. Now here's the thing, Miami doesn't have a ton of draft picks. They don't have a lot of their own picks or anybody else's picks. So in my opinion, it's gonna be opinion, it's gonna be very hard for Miami to get a, a, a deal done for KD because really all the assets you have is Tyler Hero, maybe Max Struess, PJ Tucker's no, uh, no longer under contract. Obviously you're not trading Jimmy Butler. I have a hard time seeing the Miami Heat pull off a deal for them. Now I know Heat fans, I know y'all would be going crazy if y'all was able to get KD because y'all might as well ride him into the finals if they get KD with him and Jimmy Butler. I just don't see that happen. The Phoenix Suns is the team that I see realistically the team that is going to be able to pull off a trade for KD. When you look at the assets they have, obviously DeAndre, Hay DeAndre Ayton, we all know that he's more than likely going to be on the move. And what better package to give up to surround a package around him with maybe Mikael Bridges, Maybe Cam Johnson. They have young talent. They hold all their draft picks. Three first round picks potentially. DeAndre Ayton, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson. A lot of those names that they have that can put together a package for the Nets. And to be honest, that's probably going to be the Nets' best bet to get, to, to get a, a Kevin Durant trade. When you get young talent back like that that can help you still win ball games now, I have a hard time seeing another team that can put together a package that's going to be better than the Suns. There is one team that I think, in my mind, is a sleeper. Now, no, there's no reports about any of this. This is all my opinion. There's no reports about this team. That's the Boston Celtics. If I am Brad Stevens, I am calling the Nets, and I am offering Jalen Brown, Grant Williams, and Marcus Smart, and probably some draft picks, obviously, for Kevin Durant. Now, is that realistic? Y'all tell me. I don't know. That's just what I think. That I think that's a pretty damn good package. If you're going to get Jalen Brown and Grant Williams and the Defensive Player of the Year back in Marcus Smart, I think that's a damn good package that Brooklyn will be, have a hard time passing up on. Now, is Boston willing to do a deal like that after they were just in the finals? I don't know. I'm not in the front office. That's just in my opinion. There's not going to be too, other, too many other teams that can really formulate a package. You look at the Raptors. They got some young talent. They could offer maybe Fred VanVleet, Scotty Barnes, uh, maybe uh, Gary Trent. 
and some draft picks as well. But here's the thing. Are they going to be willing to part ways with the rookie of the year, Scotty Barnes? I don't know, man. It, it is going to be crazy over the next couple days, however long it takes for him to get traded. Now, free agency starts in what? Like an hour at, at the time I'm recording this video? Something like that. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens tonight and over the weekend and what's going to happen with Kevin Durant. So if Kevin Durant gets traded, I think it's it's pretty much pretty much inevitable that Kyrie is going to be on his way out, right? Yeah, he, he opted into his contract, but you're going to have to look for the Lakers to potentially try and move, uh, look to uh, maybe swing Russell Westbrook for Kyrie in a deal because Kyrie's clearly not going to want to be there. And he really has a lot of leverage because he can just walk at the end of the year. So Ky or, uh, the Brooklyn's kind of going to have to trade him. I don't know if that's all going to happen. We will see the NBA offseason, man. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see what bombs we get later on tonight and into tomorrow and into the weekend as well. It's going to be incredible. I'm so excited. Breaking news, Kevin Durant getting a rest, requesting a trade. So we will see what happens. I'm going to pretty much leave it there, man. I only got much more to talk about. I wanted to hop on here real quick and talk about this breaking news. Get my opinion on who should make a move. Who the favorite is. I do think the Phoenix Suns are going to be the favorite. Which kind of makes me mad because I was hoping Atlanta would make a move for DeAndre Ayton. But that's probably going to be dead now. That Especially if Kevin Durant is on the table. But it is what it is. We'll see whatever whatever moves Atlanta decides to make. If y'all haven't had a chance to check out my, uh, my DeJounte uh, Murray trade video. Make sure y'all go check that out as well. That's pretty much it man. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know what you think the best trade package is for Kevin Durant. Heat fans I want to hear from y'all. Suns fans if y'all watch my channel I want to hear from y'all as well. Leave a like on the video, and I will catch y'all next episode.